one of those you got to crank it up a little bit more for. All right, first night of league, the end of this game, two hours from now, one of us is in first and one of us is in last, and that's the reality of it. All right, but we know where we belong, we know where we've been, and we know where we're going to stay, but it all starts tonight. It all starts tonight. We take this forward to warm up. It's all business. It's all business, like the other day. I love it. And everybody involved with what we were doing, we were together. It's going to take that tonight. Common phenomenon for a Cabrini basketball player, I believe, is just being a good person first. We try to start off in the recruiting process of finding the right fit to our program that usually starts with the type of person that the young man is. And, and, I, and I think you'll find, regardless of who you talk to on our roster, besides being a good athlete, besides being a good student, most importantly, they're a good, a good young man, an honorable person. We have great kids. We have uh, some kids who, who don't play a lot of time, but are the first kids high-fiving the guys who are playing a lot of time. Then the guys who play, get a lot of time on the court, they also helping the guys out trying to get them better so that they can get on the court. One of the best resources we have that kind of separates our program from others is our alumni base. We've got a very strong, proud tradition here at Cabrini with our men's basketball program. First thing you can see when you enter our gym are championship banners hanging from the rafters. I've been told through you know, uh, opposing teams and other players I've played against or coaches I coach against, it's like coming into the Boston Garden. You know that it's going to be tough to get a win at Cabrini, you know, so everybody brings their A game. I started getting recruited by Cabrini about midway through my senior season. I started getting recruited by Cabrini like my junior year. And I came for a visit and I saw the campus, I saw a game, just their style of play, the coaching staff, uh, the campus atmosphere, the people here. Just, you know, I just knew I, I made the right decision to come to Cabrini. Coach Khan was probably the first thing that really brought me here like he came in he told me what he wanted out of me right away felt like I could trust him it's a small campus you get the help you need and on the basketball court side of it we have great coaches great managers good players to be around and you become a better player and a better person you'll be able to come in here and play right away and if that's what you're looking for at Cabrini College is probably the best place to come for you playing at a fast pace and we're all crashing the glass do you understand you're on the offense you're going to the boards we have to work on that, and you have to go box out. And if your guy doesn't crash, you need to go meet him on the perimeter and box him out anyway. Because I promise you, the next two teams we play will not wait on the perimeter. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. Our, our practices here at Cabrini are very intense. We pride ourselves in working as hard as we possibly can for as long as we're on the floor. Whether we're in October or February, we're gonna go as hard as we can while we're on the court. Our practices are very competitive, very intense. Practices are very intense. Our coaching staff never lets us slack. Even the practice before a game is very competitive. We get after it. Our guy, we don't stop moving. We go from drill to drill. Everything is timed. A lot of things are static. Uh, we keep it very detailed with what we do. And I think that keeps the team's energy up. And also have more fun with what we're doing. Coach Khan and the coaching staff really know like how to succeed at this level. And they really know how to get you to that next level of your game. And that's where it really helps having them in practice because during your year after every play, like telling you good job or you can do this better, that better. It's always on you. I mean, the patch on your butt when you're doing right, they tell you when you're doing wrong. They never let you slack off. No matter how good of a game you think you've had, you still go watch film and you get better and better. And everybody keeps learning from our coaches, which are very good coaches. Man up in the paint. Drive that nail uncontested on the block. Chalk. It's not what we do. We're up four. There's three second difference on the shot clock. Get the ball, pull it back out, do what we do. Make them pay, make them guard, score at the end of that. You know, everybody, everybody on our team has different types of skill set and game, but the coaches definitely know how to you know, put those pieces to the puzzle and make us work and be a great team. My philosophy in coaching is one of keeping it simple. Uh, going as hard as we can with everything we do on a day-to-day -day basis, be it on the floor, in the classroom, uh, do anything we are involved in on campus, we're going to do it at 100% effort. We're also going to bring you to this program, we're going to teach you again how to be, grow from a young man to an adult. Uh, 
Uh, we want you to work, give 100% on the court, but 120% in the classroom. There's a lot of pride in what we do. We work hard daily to keep that up. That's why I chose to come to Cabrini. That's why I chose to coach at Cabrini. Just because I want to show these players how to you know, live their life on and off the court, how to work hard on and off the court. Uh, this is the reason why I stick around. This is the reason why I love college basketball, because you're able to teach young men how to become grown men. I think our program is one, if you want to go to school, you can get a great education, be around good people, and in a winning basketball program year in and year out, Cabrini is the place to be.